We did it. Another week of meal prep. I actually just finished savaging some McDonald's. No regrets. That junk went down. The reason I mentioned that is because I'm about to go grocery shopping. So I was so hungry. I knew if I walked in there, I was going to want to eat the entire store. So I made it a priority to eat. We did it! I went to Aldi and as you saw on my little grocery list, I was able to get around 80% of everything on my list. So we're about to head to Walmart, which is on the plaza right next to us. So I can finish up and then head home, share with you guys what I got, how much everything was, and my plan for my meal prep for the upcoming week. So I'm really excited. Groceries have made it up. I have everything but the case of waters. That'll be for the next trip. Starting off here, the only actual two liquids that I purchased was restocking on my almond milk. And it's the only substitution to regular whole milk that I'll drink. And then I picked up this guava mango juice that I wanted to try. It was only like $1.30 at Aldi. As for the produce section, we have this lettuce here. I was looking for the already cut lettuce bag but the one that they had the lettuce leaves did not look great so i just went with this one because i really like it and it actually lasts a good chunk of time we have blackberries strawberries i got two bananas and i got them a little bit more green because i want them to last me a little bit longer when i actually am in the mood to eat them versus me already getting them ripe and they go bad so i haven't actually had an apple and i don't even know how long but i want to try when I make my oatmeal to switch up the toppings and add some apple and cinnamon. So I think that would be a good addition. Greek yogurt, my favorite block cheese, white cheddar cheese. I use it for breakfast. I put it in my salads. Such a good like salty addition. Before we get into the snacks, back here are the actual like quote unquote meats. I have chicken thighs. I haven't had chicken thighs since I used to live with my mother. Got these to try it out because I have a couple things in my meal prep that I want to use for this versus just using chicken breasts or tenderloins. Here we have ground turkey. And then we have here the tunas that I picked out. I've been, I did a tuna rice kimchi seaweed bowl for lunch the other day and it was very good. So I ended up pack grabbing these. This one's sweet and spicy and this one's lemon pepper. So I feel like this would be like a nice little spin on the tuna can. So I got these for lunches. And then my favorite for avocado toast, of course, we have sourdough bread. I notice after I eat, I crave some sort of sweetness or like chocolate. So I feel like this is perfect. I already know I love them and they were on clearance at Walmart so I was like let me grab this instead of grabbing like a crunch bar and these two here definitely satisfy my salty craving so these chips are probably like my favorite find from Aldi they're both from Aldi these are so good especially with the cheese spread that they sell at Aldi 10 out of 10 recommend alone or even with a dip they're so good. The crunch is perfect. The taste is perfect. They had mini bouquets for only $3.99. And I was like, you know what? My apartment is due for some fresh flowers. So I picked these up. They had these and then they also had roses for the same price. So I'm excited to put these in like a mason jar and put them on my kitchen table. And this beauty I actually found in their like home section. It was on clearance for... A little under a dollar fifty, I believe. It says freshly brewed. My little coffee bar that I need to like organize, but I think it would be such a cute little addition, so I picked it up. I feel like I talk 
I feel like I talk about this whiteboard all the time. But this is where I keep an ongoing list of stuff that I run out of or stuff that I would want to pick up when I go grocery shopping. And what I did yesterday just basically went through the entire fridge and freezer. This is kind of like how it's looking. Pulled out this baby, is, which is where I've been meal prepping. So this is how I did it last week. I did it a little bit different this week. But this section turned into my grocery list. And these were where I put meals. So I basically wrote down all of the stuff that I was planning on using in these meals. And then I based my grocery list based on what I wanted to use and stuff that I knew that I needed for like breakfast and lunch. But for this week, I switched it up and I included a breakfast, lunch, and dinner section. Since I kind of know what I include in each meal already, I just needed to basically write down ideas of my options for the week. And then I put my grocery list together based off of that. What I think helped and motivated me so much is the fact that even though I have meal ideas on each list for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I know that the way I meal prep gives me the flexibility to switch it up and use different ingredients to make new recipes throughout the week. So what I mean by that, by that is last week, I ended up doing a lot of different types of rice bowls, steak, and chicken. And I had like a tuna rice bowl. So the toppings for those meals were specifically different so that I wouldn't feel like I'm eating the same thing every day. But I didn't actually prep them together. I just made a bowl of rice, a bowl of the chicken, a bowl of the steak. I had the tuna prepped the day of. And then like the broccoli was in its own bowl. So then when it was time for me to eat or to prepare my meals for the day, I just took everything out and took a little bit from whatever I wanted and was in the mood for that day and created my bowls. And I'm telling you, I enjoyed my meals so much this week that there's like nothing left from what I prepped from last week. I very much have a curated set of Tupperware. So we have like the... OG just the black with the clear lid but then this is normally where I'll do like rice or like if I have a large portion of a certain like rice or chicken or whatever I'll put it here and then I have all different shapes and sizes like for my overnight oats or if I want to take fruit or like snacks um and then this is like the big mama if I do rice bowls or like large chicken salads Before putting my fruits in the fridge, the only way I know that I'll eat them and they won't go bad is if I wash, rinse, and either cut and prep or just put them in a different bowl. It ends up lasting longer for me, but also a lot of the times when the strawberries are just in its original container, I get lazy and I end up they end up going bad because they're not already like the stems aren't cut and all that. So these are ready for me to eat. last thing i have is white rice the best the best 
part about white rice is you just throw it all together and it's simply just four ingredients we have everything else here and i started prepping my actual dinner i'm just gonna do like a little taco salad okay i probably should have showed it before the lettuce but i basically added a bunch of toppings i'm going to savage it with some tortilla chips and it's just deliciousness like i don't know how to other describe it like this little taco bowl such a good combination so filling even though it may look like a small portion a little goes a long way because of all like a tomato jalapenos corn sour cream cheese all the goodness We are officially done. We have our two bowls of rice, ground turkey, chicken thighs, beans, veggies. Oh my god, I'm so happy. It took me around less than two hours to make all of this, so I'm so... Look at this masterpiece. Yay! Here we go. Another week of meal prep. <laughs> 